we're here at Clay City, first hill, we've already had two riders down. Rob told me there was going to be seven total dirt bikers out there today. I thought, man, that's just too crowded. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this work. Well, we did. And today, I'm going to tell you how. So one of the things that made today really successful is the ability to communicate. Rob and I each had Cardo Bold Pack Talk headsets, and so he went in front and told us about the line, and I was able to go in the back and let him know, hey, everyone made it up the hill, keep going, or hold on, we got a rider down. You know, I think about the skill level of these guys, and really, we were all right around the same level. It was really great not to be waiting on some guy and having him feel all the pressure because he couldn't get up a hill, or having someone who just wanted to speed ahead. So everyone being of the same level really made for a great day. Dude, you roosted me! Did I? Having friends to ride with who are helpful made such an impact. You know, when your bike falls down and you need someone to help you up or push you through a tough spot, these are the guys you want to ride with. Right? <laughs> Another attribute that I think really helps out is being patient. Whether it's getting up a hill or just waiting to get through a tight spot, man, it helps to ride with guys who are patient. Major washout hill right here. So it's tough to keep the momentum, lug it up. And uh, a couple guys still down here spinning the wheels. Really gotta feather that clutch gently. A couple guys got hung up, we'll see if they can get up this hill. Not much traction. Carving his own new way through the woods, staying away from the ruts. That's one way to do it. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. story of the day is uh, just wet ruts trying to get up but having a good time for sure. Got Mike Fouch making his way up the hill. Definitely got some speed. Making a new track. Go Mike, go! Yeah. So when the trail is worn you just make a new trail I guess. The last thing I want to mention that made this day such a great one is everyone just being other-centered. You know, instead of focusing on yourself and your own riding, these guys, they care about you. They want to make sure you're successful, that your bike's running good. And I think that love comes from a relationship with Jesus. You know, it's great to ride with brothers who, who give of themselves. You know, any of these guys would have pushed my bike up a hill or helped me fix it if I had ran into trouble. And it's that type of attitude that just creates such a great community. What a great bunch of guys to ride with. Let's see if we can find some flow here at Clay City. I'm right behind Jared right now. Had a good morning. 
so far. to the top of this thing. Man, it's been a long day. Pretty tired. Guys, thanks for watching. This is uh, Clay City membership only. Uh, we'll see you next time.